Hi everyone, I am Dr. Sripati Kamath. I am a practicing ophthalmologist and a veterinary surgeon at Netra Jyoti Retina Center, Balmata, Mangalore. And uh, I am Dr. Anupama Karand, consultant ophthalmologist at uh, Netra Jyoti Retina Center, Balmata. And uh, today, CFAL and uh, Netra Jyoti Retina Center are here to inform you about the eye safety during eclipse viewing. 26 December 2019, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Most of South India is going to witness a very rare cosmic event, the annular solar eclipse. People in Mangalore are especially fortunate. They are going to witness a maximum intensity of this around 9.23 to 9.26. They are going to see a ring of fire that is when the moon almost completely blocks the sun. While this is an exciting event, eye safety during this event is important and we intend to tell you how and why your eyes could get damaged as well as how to prevent it, how to safely view. In case you do see the eclipse and get eye damage, what you can do about it. Now let us know why gazing at the solar eclipse causes harm to our eye. Gazing at the sun on a normal day itself can sometimes be harmful. But during the solar eclipse, it's a different situation. The light from the sun directly enters the eye without there being a protective mechanism. The normal protective mechanism is the pupil constricts whenever we look into the light. The solar eclipse rays, the ultraviolet rays, enters the eye uninterrupted because of the dilated pupil and causes harm to the eye during the times of the solar eclipse and normal days we are not able to look into the sun directly. However, because of the darkness during the solar eclipse, we can see the solar eclipse directly uninterrupted which causes uh, damage to the eye. The damage to the eye occurs in terms of a small burn that occurs at the seeing part of the eye which is called as a solar burn or a solar retinopathy. Now let us see how the damage occurs in the eye. Normally, when the light enters the eye, there are two mechanisms which helps the light to focus onto the retina. This is the front part of the eye which is called as the cornea. This is the condensing lens which is there inside the eye which is called as the crystalline lens. And this is the posterior part of the eye which is called as the retina. The, normally, the light enters through this area and gets focused into the most finest part of the eye nerve which is called as the macula. During the solar eclipse, this mechanism of the pupillary constriction is lost because the pupil remains dilated because of the lesser amount of light, dark environment. The pupil remains dilated and the light enters into the eye focused by the lens causing a solar burn right at the fovea. It could be a small yellow blister that occurs at the fovea or it could be a full thickness hole at right at the seeing part of the eye causing the permanent damage to the retina. So, is there a safe way to see this eclipse? There is no safe way to view it directly with the naked eyes. You have to have protection for your eyes. That is solar filters. These filters remove this harmful UV radiation. The solar filters come as eclipse glasses. They come as solar filters for your binoculars. Now, these filters have to be got from authentic and reputable manufacturers. They have to be ISO certified. Uh, there's a particular number which will be written here inside your glasses. When you get them, check these things. First, look if there is any scratches. If there are any scratches, discard them because even those scratches can harm your eye. Then put them on and when you look through it, you should be able to only see the sun and no other bright objects. Maybe the reflection of the sun, but no other bright objects. Using this has a, there's a particular way to use this. Be careful about it. So when you want to see the eclipse, turn your face away from the sun, then put on the glasses, then look at the sun, and when you're through, after a quick glance, turn away again, remove the glasses, and share it with anyone. So all the time you use the glasses, see that when you put and remove, you are not looking at the sun. We also want to clarify about a few misconceptions. Some people may say they have sunglasses and they are very dark sunglasses, very good quality. They are not sufficient to view solar eclipse. So sunglasses are a no. What about some homemade filters or x-rays or undeveloped films etc. 
none of them offer sufficient protection for uh, eclipse viewing. People may want to see this eclipse through binoculars or telescopes or cameras. Without protection, this is not at all a good idea because these devices, they focus the light even more. What about wearing these eclipse glasses and then seeing through these equipment? No, that is also not sufficient because the light that comes through this equipment can burn the glasses. So what you are supposed to do is buy separate solar filters, fit them onto telescopes, binoculars or cameras and then view the eclipse. Now this is the age of smartphones. So you might be tempted to take a photo with your smartphone. Not a good idea, not without proper care. The back of your camera, mobile camera has that lens. You have to tape it with a solar filter and if you are seeing the sun, you should use the glasses too. So all these precautions should be taken before you use. Sometimes you might just feel, why not take a quick peek or just squint or see with one eye quickly and turn away. I would advise you strongly against it. Curiosity really killed the cat. So please don't do that. What may happen now if somebody has seen the solar eclipse? Unfortunately, if somebody has directly seen the solar eclipse with their naked eyes. So once you see the solar eclipse, unfortunately through a naked eye without using a proper filter, the initial few minutes there may not be any particular symptom. After few minutes or few hours, you may see there is a small scotoma right in the center of the vision or your central vision may come down. It is a painless loss of vision. It does not cause any pain. Particularly, it generally affects one eye more than the other. So if you close one eye and close the other eye and see, you may be able to know the difference which eye has got affected more. So symptoms are a painless loss of vision, painless central loss of vision, or sometimes you can also see a kind of a scotoma right in the center or a distorted kind of a vision. So any of these symptoms, if you have, then what next? You need to see your eye doctor. The eye doctor, first of all, will confirm whether there is any uh, problem that has occurred because of waving the solar eclipse through the naked eyes. However, there is no permanent therapy or there is no therapy for this particular problem. The doctor may suggest you to undergo a scan called as an OCT, which is an optical coherence tomography. This particular scan will quantify the amount of damage, whether it is just a small little hole or it's a full thickness hole or it's a large scar at the fovea. However, this particular problem does not have a permanent solution. It's more or less a permanent damage, particularly when it occurs as a full thickness solar burn. To sum up, direct viewing of the eclipse with naked eyes is harmful to the eyes. Do not do it. Use proper, authentic eclipse glasses and viewing it otherwise can harm your eye. There is no specific treatment for it. The damage can be permanent. Annular eclipse is no doubt a very exciting event we are all going to witness. But your vision is very important. Especially take care of your children because they have to be instructed not to look into the solar eclipse directly. So, happy solar eclipse viewing. Bye.